Good evening uh, from London and hello from me, Dr Dermot Hudson, the chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Duchy Idea, chairman of the Korean Friendship Association for the UK, an official delegate of the Korean Friendship Association for the UK, and also president of the Association for the Study of Sungan Politics of the UK. And tonight I'm going to speak about the uh, Korean War or Fatherland Liberation War as it is known as in uh, People's Korea. And of course I'm doing this because tomorrow, 25th of June, it will be 71 years since the US imperialists and their scumbag South Korean puppets provoked the three year long war against the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. And uh, one of the uh, many planks of the demonization of the DPRK and the propaganda against it in the falsifications uh, against the DPRK uh, is the idea uh, that the DPRK uh, somehow started uh, the uh, Fatherland Liberation War itself, you know, that it actually uh, started or provoked the war that it was uh, uh, a victim of. And I actually think the term Korean War is a misnomer, as it implies it was a war between Koreans, which of course is nonsense. It was in fact a war between the Young Democratic People's Republic of Korea, led by the great leader, President Kim Il-sung, an ever-victorious, iron-willed, brilliant commander, and the United States, plus its lackeys and, and acolytes, which to my eternal shame, uh, include uh, Britain, uh, you know, and also a number of other countries, uh, including uh, uh, fascist regimes in uh, Greece and uh, South Africa and Colombia, uh, you know, Hale Slassy's feudal uh, monarchy in Ethiopia, <laughs> You know, such wonderful examples of a democracy and human rights. It uh, was a war against the Korean people, a genocidal war to exterminate the Korean people, as well as a war by the US to destroy the people's democratic system in the northern part of Korea and to conquer and enslave the Korean people. The US wanted to seize the natural uh, and material resources of people's Korea. They wanted to plunder and exploit the Korean people. The mainstream media and history books will falsely accuse the DPRK of starting the war and even that it invaded South Korea, quote, unquote. No one uh, stops to think whether you can actually invade your own country. And of course you can't, you know, it's uh, an absurd idea. As we know, the war broke out on the 25th of June 1950, 71 years ago. However, it really started much earlier, from about 1947, when South Korea began making raids into the northern half of Korea. Indeed, one could argue that the war began on the 8th of September 1945, when US troops landed in South Korea, or even in 1866 when the US sent its pirate ship the General Sherman up the river Taedong to loot and pillage and indeed uh, the US 
had really a coveted uh, career since the 19th century and they, they wanted to expand uh, their uh, you know US imperialism into Korea in the uh, 19th century. The US which had occupied South Korea in 1945 and created a puppet regime in South Korea was dead against the establishment of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea in September 1948. In those days, the US imperialists did not uh, simply believe in the so-called containment of communism, that is, you know, trying to hold back socialist revolutions, but uh, they believed in rollback. John Foster Dulles, US Secretary of State, was a well uh, known architect of this policy. Dulles had made a lot of money through dealings with the German Nazi Party in the 1930s. Dulles wrote a book called War or Peace, arguing for liberating socialist countries. He wrote that we should make it clear in Eastern Europe and Asia that we do not accept the status quo and eventual liberation is an essential and enduring part of our foreign policy. End of quotation. In other words, the aim of the US was to crush socialism by means of force, whether direct military force or other kinds of force. Internally, the US banned the Communist Party and unleashed a wave of anti-communist hysteria which became known as McCarthyism, uh, named after the infamous uh, US Senator J.R. McCarthy. Even non-communist liberals were persecuted. Later, the Rosenbergs, two US communists who were also Jewish, were executed by the US authorities who liked to go on so much about human rights. In 1948 in South Korea, the US established a puppet army under the control of a US military advisory group. The US armed and primed South Korea for a war against the DPRK. According to an official document, released by the US Congress, they handed over more than 145 rifles, 2,000 machine guns and submachine guns, over 2,000 pieces of various Klybers, 4,900-odd vehicles, 79 warships, and other materials to the South Korean Puppet Army in 1949 alone. It was also in this period that the South Korean puppet navy was greatly expanded. The US deployed most of the South Korean puppet army on the front along the 38th parallel and perpetuated armed provoca provocations against the DPRK. In 1949, the South Korean puppet army intruded into areas of the DPRK such as Mount Songak, Mount Upfa, and other areas, causing a lot of damage and many casualties. The DPRK was attacked a total of 2,617 times. On the 26th of January 1950, the US concluded the US-South Korea Mutual Defence Treaty. On the 14th of April 1950, a then secret directive of the US National Security Council, Directive NSC 68, authorised the start of the Korean War. Dulles, the architect of the US rollback policy, actually visited South Korea in June 1950, just one week before the war started. It is impossible for this to have been a coincidence. Dulles even in inspected the front line along the 38th parallel 
and the picture shows him looking at a map. Clearly, Dulles was like a burglar casing a joint before committing a crime. Dulles said to the South Korean puppet army, and I quote, No strong enemy, whatever, would stand against you, but I hope you will strive ever harder, because the day is not far off when you will have to display your great might for your own sake. End of quotation. Addressing the South Korean Puppet National Assembly, he said, and I quote, You are not alone. You will never be alone. So long as you continue to play worthily your part in the great design for the freedom of human beings. End of quotation. This was clearly a coded message to the South Korean puppets to start the war. After visiting South Korea, Dulles stopped off in Tokyo and met General Bradley and General Douglas MacArthur, as well as US Defence Secretary Johnson. Against this, uh, again, this meeting cannot have been uh, coincidental. On the 22nd of June, Dulles stated somewhat cryptically and enigmatically, the United States will soon take some positive action. It was evident that the meeting was to finalise the provocation of the Korean War. The DPRK's population was only half that of South Korea, so it would be absurd for the DPRK to initiate a war against South Korea. Moreover, on the day that war broke out, it was pointed out by a British soldier in Korea, Julian Tunstall, in his, uh, who wrote, was in the West Mid Middlesex uh, Regiment and actually wrote a book. Uh, it was pointed out by Julian Tunstall that the Re Army, by which he means the South Korean Puppet Army, had six fully equipped divisions sitting just below or quite close to the 38th parallel. So far, it can be judged that the Korean People's Army had two below combat strength divisions on or near the 38th parallel. On the 23rd of June 1950, the South Korean puppet forces began an artillery bombardment of areas north of the 38th parallel. On the early morning of the 25th of June, the South Korean puppet forces, under the command of the American Military Advisory Group, started the attack on the DPRK. The 17th Regiment of the South Korean Puppet Army pushed forward in Tianten and uh, Pyok Song, and the 1st Infantry attacked in the Kae Song area. They intruded 12 kilometres into the territory of the DPRK. The DPRK demanded they stop at once, but this was ignored, so the DPRK, under the command of the great leader, Generalissimo Kim Il-sung, went over to the counter-offensive. It should be noted that the DPRK only launched the counter-offensive after warning South Korea to hold its attack. On the morning of the 25th of June 1950, 650 US women and children were evacuated by the Norwegian ship the Rheinfeldt at 3am in the morning. US accounts put the war as starting at 6am, so how could the US have known in advance so as to plan the evacuation of its nationals? The famous American journalist John Gunther wrote in his book, The Riddle of MacArthur, that uh, in Tokyo on the 25th of June, a US staff officer was called to the phone and came back and whispered, a big story has just broken. The South Koreans have attacked North Korea. End of quotation. Che Dok Singh, former South Korean Army commander and also former, for, former South Korean foreign minister and a South Korean ambassador to the United Nations, 
stated that he had seen the secret order of Syngman Rhee, the South Korean puppet dictator, to start the war. All the above facts show that it was not the DPRK that provoked or started the Fatherland Liberation War, but the South Korean puppets egged on and instructed by their Yankee overlords. For those who would like more detailed information about this, I would strongly recommend reading this book, which is appropriately called The US Imperialists Started the Korean War. Now, I think this is a must-read for all KFA members and friends of People's Korea. And also, uh, this handy little book that was published in the uh, early 2000s, uh, Distortion of U.S. Provocation of Korean War. Those are both uh, must-reads. Uh, and I say, uh, as we know, that the Fatherland Liberation War ended in a great victory uh, for People's Korea on the 27th of July 1953, but that will be the subject of a separate uh, video. I'm going to put uh, a few uh, links uh, in the uh, 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 video description, uh, which you know uh, will include links to the two books I've just mentioned. Uh, so anyway, uh, thank you uh, for taking time out to watch this video. Uh, enjoy uh, the rest of the day. And if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe and to our also to our affiliated channel UK KFA. And uh, you know, please uh, support uh, KFA UK and the British Group uh, for the study of the future idea uh, through uh, participating in our events you know, which are online at the moment, but, uh, you know, one day we will start holding real life meetings again. So, uh, goodbye to everyone and stay safe.